Oh, what a dummy. I stopped the phone at the... Um... Hello, everybody. I want to show y'all new needles that I got. This first one is... We're going to start with the two. Well, the oldest ones, that they're new. But the first ones I bought. Hi, call me Kylie. I am in Biloxi, Mississippi. Biloxi, Mississippi. I am not home. I'm going to go to bed here shortly after this. Because <clears throat> I have to be up early tomorrow. First one is a bubble mm, bubble glob needle. Hello, Lynx. So you can see what this needle looks like up close. Where is it? Oh wait. Oh, here we go. And it looks like hexagon. It's not. It just has those little like white snowflake things in there. But oh. Ba 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 ba! I love it. One of my favorites. <clears throat> Aw. How did I? This get all twisted. Oh, because of the tape. Okay, not that we need it. Second one. Your girl had to get three needles. Wait, wrong side. Because they were cheaper here than five below. And this one is a Stardust Shimmer Needle. Hello, Charlotte. What color is yours? I love these things. They are fun to squish on a great stress relief. Oh, yes, sir. And you know, your girl... Yeah, girl. Had to get purple. I don't know if you can see that. Ouch. My arm doesn't burn that way, but it'll try. It's just, these things are nice. Things are just like a wonder. And then now to the new one. myself this one is a nice one too it has it's i don't know what the liquid is but it has unicorn skin in it those glitters there are unicorn skin i think that's what it's called oh yeah i could squeeze this all day Oof. and then you've seen the one that i have at home it's like a color changing from pink to is it purple pink to purple pink to purple and I'm also watching Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner thought you guys would like to see that and this one is like very along with the ones with the Orbeez this is very textured Hello, Ariel. Needles are my current favorite fidget. Yeah.
I mean, you know, corn skin, you can actually feel it in here. It's like so textured. It's a nice squeeze. So, so you can guys get to see oh, like what that looks like on the inside. I want hair in my mouth. Hi, Sophia. I'm not leaving to check on my battery to make sure. Now that one I didn't get here. The original one I have, I got that at five below. I did not now noticed. But there's also a broken piece of it too. Like pieces of it I should say. Biloxi, Biloxi, Biloxi. Biloxi. No. Oh, and then one, I guess, a her, a him. I can tell you a very cheaply made plush, but it, at least I won. This is by the brand ANA Global Industries. And I thought this was a beanie boo when I tried to when I tried to win it the first couple of times. I'm like, wait, that can't be a beanie boo. There's no beans in it. Just the eyes, I thought it was. When didn't have the ty, that's what tipped me off. <clears throat> Either she got hacked and somebody was using her account for trolling, or That's how my Liza Terra 880 Instagram got taken down.
They wrongfully took it down and didn't tell me why. And then they said that I got fished when I didn't get fished. I didn't get a malicious malicious message like that at all. But I got my Regal Duckling one back, though. Oh, I don't know if it's because it got high. I don't know. And hello, Desiree. When I, you know, when they tell you to, your phone number and they'll send you a text for the code that wasn't working, then they finally email saying, oh, and I, I went to, oh, and it finally worked. It said that the text to email, the text to code thing wasn't working. And the email was saying, oh, I'm so sorry. That what, and it was, turns out my Regal Duckling one was hacked. And it turns out it was because someone had hacked and sending a malicious message asking them for Cash App when at the time, and I don't have it now, Cash App. If you know who Sylvester the Cat is, you know. What's Kayomi, if you don't mind me asking, is um, Sylvester the Cat from Looney Tunes. He says it all the time. No, no, no. I'm asking what is Kayomi, not why. A website. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. If you don't know what succotash is, it's peas, carrots, and I think potatoes like diced up small. But the carrots and the potatoes are diced up small, and then it's just peas mixed in. If I'm not mistaken. Hello, Pandora. They have way.
If you don't know what Albuquerque is, I think you guys have taken history, taken geography. It's uh, a place in New Mexico. Bags in my eyeballs, but bounce back, bounce back, bounce back like a boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. And I have posted on Instagram, guys. If you could just go like those photos for me, please. You don't have to, but. I'm going to let this charge. Perhaps I'm relaxing music and take a bath. Ooh. Don't know if they could use that because our bathroom doesn't have a shower anymore. A far. Far? Hi, Sophia. Hmm. I love this one, too.
so I can sleepy, I could go to bed, but I don't really want it, and I know I have to. Ah. Oh my god, wow, Aiden. Well, I only, I started in 2014, so. You're you're suck a dash. Suck a dash, Yep. Thirteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. Yeah, eight years ago. Wow. I'm from New York. There you are. I I lived in Nevada for two years. That's all, folks.
Like, how cold? At night, yeah, but not in the afternoon. <clears throat> I lived in I lived in Vegas for two years. I live in like Las Vegas, not far from the strip. <clears throat> yeah, at night, yeah, not in the afternoon. I lived on Sahara Avenue. Right. Oh, on Sahara, like meets Nellis. That's where I lived at. Trash. What school do you go to? Vegas High School, El Dorado, Rancho Verde. I went to Vegas. Go Cats. It's within walking distance. But now there's a bus that takes you to school because they felt that we were too close. But in the afternoon, it's too hot to be walking in the heat like that. Oh, you're in college. Then go Red Cowboys. Well, what high school did you go to? I should say. Oh, go cats! <laughs> go cats! What year did you graduate? Oh, I hope not. I mean, this is daily something like that. I don't know. Oh, you just were your recent grad then. I graduated in 02. Who was your favorite teacher? I don't know. She still works here, but it was Miss Vineyard and was my LifeWorks teacher. And then my English teacher, Miss Sanchez. It was now, Miss Vineyard was for junior. Miss Sanchez was for both years. It was English comprehension and essay writing.
Oh. I meant like, well, teacher that taught your favorite class. Oh, one thing I will say about Vegas is the pool was nice. You know, because where, where I live in an apartment complex, I had a swimming pool. And I lived right next door to a, uh, an outdoor shopping mall, which was nice. <laughs> Miss Elmer. R Ms. Almendralo, I, again, I graduated in 02, I'm a 90s kid, that's okay, <laughs> were you ever in band in high school? Hello. And this is Buckle Lake Corn Canton Lady Sing their song. Do da do da. Canton Rich Dad Five Bell Song. Oh, do that day. That's all the part of the song I remember. If you don't know who Foghorn Leghorn is, if you've ever seen Looney Tunes, he's one of the characters. He's a rooster. Oh, I wasn't in the choir. I was in the band. But just, if, if you know this, who was the band teacher when you went? Just out of curiosity. I had Miss Watson my senior year. I would have had her my junior year, but they didn't put me in band. If you have a classmate, you can definitely definitely look up the teachers in the yearbook. Who was the band teacher when you went there? For, for me, it was Miss Watson. What fun, uh, kind of so. Oh my God, Miss Watson was cool too. But like, what the fuck? Where's the? And I see this dude like this, and I'm like, oh. And I finally found her. Oh, lot lower. Oh. <laughs> and I see this stand right, and it's like this, and I'm like, what the. Oh, <laughs> I found her. Oh, found ya. Oh, I'm sorry. And she went to introduce and she completely forgot and went, forgot to introduce myself. Hey, I know. And I'm looking for you. I can't find her nowhere. Sweetest band writer. And she loved her, her band nerd. She was like the best. If you needed one on one, she would give it to you if you needed it. Yeah, just look at I just out of curiosity. But their band is second to none. They're really good. Okay, Ariel. Oh, fuck me. I was drinking that. Oh, well. Oh, bye-bye. And it's with different languages. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Konnichiwa. Afwiter sein. Das Vidanias.
Au revoir. Add one more. Come on. Actually, I think that was it. Aw. Oh. Hi, Lynn. How are you? I'm good. Hard and feathered. Thank you, Aiden. And go Red Cowboys and Wildcats. That's right. I am so glad. And I just uploaded one today. Just so you know, I did put a new one. And just so you folks know, I am in Mississippi, so it's southern time when they go up, not New York time. In case if you missed it yesterday. But I'll be home by, I'll be home Sunday, so it'll be back to normal. But just let folks know, I am in central time. You know what's funny? I, I don't mean it's a bad way, but when you have a vision and it's, you can smell the vision. Not cool. And it smelled like man, like a man. A woman's nasty ass foot, and my and my grandmother not having it. <laughs> I'm knock someone's lights out. I keep having this recurring dream, which is in like well, it's the little room, and it's called the little room because it's the smallest room in my grandma's house, and it's this thing that keep I don't know who it is, but keep trying to make noise to wake me up. In fact, I didn't get up till like 3 in the morning because I had come home from a party. Woo! -wee. I was up till 2 in the morning partying. I didn't have dinner till 1. I was... My stepmom came knocking on the door to check on me. So you didn't get up. I was worried. Oh, no. I I didn't eat dinner till 1 in the morning. I was going to come home and then just take my third medicine and eat again. So I slept it off. He's not a lady, though. Excuse me. Is that chicken hawk? No, I, if you've watched Foghorn Leg, you all know that the name of the little bird is Chicken Hawk. My 
Foghorn Leghorn is a rooster. Hmm. Hmm. Her tapping, Danny86. You ever get the chance to look her up? She's an Italian ASM artist. For tapping, but I've been currently I've been into Chell's ASMR, Sophie Sen ASMR, Cal ASMR, Calm Moon, like that. It's because their attention to detail. Which one? I do have playlists that are like three. I have three of them. Relax, and then two and three. So if you want to check out those ASMR artists, you can. It's a curated playlist I made because sometimes I need ASMR too. I'm not, I, just, I put it out, sometimes I need it, you know. And if anyone could please explain this to me why I have a vision of this woman in white, you know, she's not a, they didn't get married, now, she's like a break, she has a veil, and then well, you can't see her hair, nothing over her face. And she, like, she tries to make a noise at me, and I don't know what she says because I, I don't speak gibberish. I used to, not anymore. Then there's a history behind that one. And she puts this like candelabra with, that's like a triangle thing, like a candelabra kind of thing. And it has like the candles aren't lit by the way, but they're like the light bulb candles. And the funny thing with gibberish, my cousin and I, we learned gibberish from this cartoon we used to watch when we were little. What was that? And my grandma just looks at us like when we we're like, You speak Italian and we said it just like that too, like and then we looked at her like 500 languages, you right? And she was doing, I mean, I was like, yeah, we know what we were doing. And that's when I started listening to her and placing her the I E is a chi, C H I is a k. And I'm like, oh. And she realized that I was wising up on the Italian. She's like, Nan. And she put her hand in her mouth. I said, uh huh. Well, uh, you love them, but you don't hate them, but you don't want them here, but you don't want them dead. But then you also don't want them when in Mother May I because you're the deal and you want to make their life a living hell, but then you don't want to because this ain't your last friend. So then you two start fighting. And when you two fight and push came to shove, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, my God. She just smiled at me like, good job. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen the black. No, they're not married brides. They just look like brides because of the what they're wearing. I haven't seen the black ones lately. Those stopped. I started seeing those when my grandma passed away. I was I was um, downstairs sleeping, right? And I heard footsteps, and I thought maybe it's the ghost of my grandfather or my grandmother. Well, wait. I said, not to be a bitch, ma'am. You're too tall to be my grandmother. And I know you're not a man. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to misuse your pronouns. Yeah. She says, she says I'm not the wing up. The really? I am going, you feel lucky, punk? Yeah. And she almost cursed the last thing. Please explain. Oh, I see what you heard. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. And she just sat there and just started staring at me. And that's when I woke up. I had to go to the bathroom. Actually, this is a bigger toilet. Ma. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, sorry. Cut butts of coconuts. <laughs> she cut me off as I'm trying to go to the bathroom. My grandma's bathroom upstairs is a bathroom, but it's small like this. And on the one side, you got the thing with the toilet paper thing. Like, you're all crushed in there. The 21 flush salute. And I, I, I wonder if it's just to check on Aunt Nan. Because I, I, I thought I heard her scream. And it turns out I did. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Aunt Nan, are you okay? What's wrong? So I said, you can tell me what's wrong. It's me. That thing hates people. You're a twin. She's, 
actually. And I'm like, what do you mean, like, as far as, a, no, no. She's, she's just an asshole or the real big bully? Both. I went up to check my aunt because I thought I heard her scream. I thought she fell out of the bed. My room. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's in there. No. I can't sleep on that shit. Yeah, I know. I hear you. He said, thank you for checking on me. I said, I'm okay. I went to go upstairs and it's like, Black bride, because she had the veil and the dress, chased me down the stairs with this mean look. And I'm like, I'm like, who are you? You bitch! Who are you? I, I cursed her out. Now she could go fuck him on the pussy she came out of and go right back up there and fuck it. Because you are not doing that to me tonight. Grandma! And I said it just like that to her. And I'm like, someone's being a bitch to Aunt Nan. Uh, I don't know what it says in Italian, but uh, I don't know what it meant was. A bully or just an ass? An ass is usually a bully, though. Oh! Uh, or, yeah! Uh, both? And she looked at me funny like, oh, yeah? Oh, the dead guy you just saw is like this big? That's her twin sister. You mess with her, you mess with her. You mess with, you mess with her, you get the bull. You get the bull, you get the horns. I cursed her right out. You ever chase me down the stairs like that again? She's looking at me like, it's not my fault my grandma died. Not my fault. If I find you in here again, I'm going to burn this house down. I am that crazy. Ma, oh no no, <laughs> I'm not gonna burn the house down, Aunt Nan. Ugh. And looks at me and looks at me kind of funny. I'm like, yeah, how you doing? And And if you don't know what shining is, is where you can take like, say I was a ghost and I just went like this and I could hold your hand like this and not let go. And I yanked her by the hair. I told you, you got the horns. Ever chase me down the stairs like that again. This is M.Y. Grandma's house. I am the second oldest grandchild. Now you torture the other six, you're going to get something that's not so nice. I don't know if that was in Italian. I said I didn't understand and say it was fluent. Yes. I sure do. Mm, I wouldn't say psychic because I don't really think I can predict the future, but that's one story, yeah. Uh, I don't think you play Chopin, do you? Uh, that's more Yola. And she's still alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ralph. Well. And this is the same story, but the next day, she was still there and adamant about it, but... And then my, when, I, I know, I told you what she did. I just didn't say what she did, because I didn't want to wake people up. You had left, and I didn't want to look at when she was a clown. She was talking to herself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, Ma. And this thing called telepathy, where you can transfer thoughts and ideas into someone else's mind, and then they just automatically know what happened. And I'm like sitting at the top of the steps. I walk up, see her. She chased me down the stairs, and I gave her that look. And she tried to come after me. She pinned me in the kitchen by the backyard door. And told me, I don't know how she could. If I ever were to go up there again, then she's going to come after me. I don't know this crazy-ass bitch. I'm checking on Annette because she let out a blood-curdling scream. I thought she fell out of the bed. None of us fit in that toilet. <laughs> yeah. That's small. Oh, when you're my height. Fit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you fit because you're tiny, teeny, tiny little thing. About, like, maybe, like, this big. So she fits. 
Mom, stop! Ah! Oh. to get yourself out of there. I didn't go down the first time. That was a funny story that my mom called me and told me that my and I thought she was I didn't know my mom was gonna my mom called me and told me that grandma had died in her sleep. What was funny was that I didn't believe her at first because I thought it was just like she was just sleeping. Oh she's just sleeping and they don't wake up permanently, you know? But the night before, it felt like there was somebody in my bed when there wasn't. And this woman's from like the nineteen twenties. She was born nineteen twenty three. And I smelled her perfume. What's that? Oh God! Ah! And and and, and then my dad told my grandmother lying there. Wait, wait! I don't want to yell at mom's ear. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. And then when I saw the county coroner, the police. And the constable had walked upstairs. I'd let up the most blood curdling scream you ever heard. This little girl I used to play was, I forgot her name, but there's in Chinese, I can never pronounce it, Meng or Zhen something. We used to always hold our hands on the door like this when we were little, and we used to stare at each other. I always want to play, and then I'm like, and she went to the, I'm like, I know you're a lot taller than that now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, whoops. You grew maybe five, up to five? Yeah, I know. You know that, Sam? And she went down. I'm sorry. Oh. She goes, goes to her mother in Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. Her grandma passed away. Oh, Elsie. It was the worst. And then that's when I started seeing her ghost after that. Uh, but I, <clears throat> when I was little, my grandma had a Christmas party. I was six years old and we were in her living room. My mom decided to put, it wasn't nighttime, so my mom just put me upstairs just for an hour because if you're going to be up late, you want to get your rest. I went like this to my mother and she brings me upstairs. I was asleep in the little room, but no covers, no nothing. Excuse me. That's the one. I woke up from the now. Oh, that's much better. So I walked downstairs. I wasn't paying attention. Now my feet either go in like this or they go out like this. But well, one went this way and one went this way. And I fell down the stairs and I hit my head on the second to the last step. I said, Mom, what's that smell? A uh, bunch of cologne shirts. Well, Oh, yeah, and this was a Christmas party, but everyone's outside smoking. Except for Elena and a few people who don't smoke. And I'm like, oh, and she, my mother smelled it too. It smells like a, no, in a good way, a man. So, and I looked up. I didn't see him at first, and I'm like, Ugh, oh, you're right, you fell. So, and I get up, and I, I'm like, Ma, who's the tall guy? Tall guy. He looks like you, but it's a man. My father. My father. You know, your grandpa. Oh. Oh, have you ever seen in a photo, but not like this? And after that, I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to my grandpa's photo in the little room. I used to see him all the time, and then when my grandma died, he looked at When we were at the wake, he looked at me funny and he's like, no. Yeah, oh, I remember Vanessa. Well, hello, we are the six other, we are the five other grandkids. 
What, I have seven grandchildren? Yes. And my, my, and then at the at the uh, the burial, my grandma goes to my grandpa band and shows the photos. Are those my grandchildren? Yes. Oh my God! You might not remember me because well, I'm like good morning and good afternoon, Grandpa. You were just a little kid. I'm dead all these years, and you still say good morning and good evening and good afternoon to me. Because you're my grandfather. I love you. Even though I never met you in person before, you're still my grandfather. I love you. And I will always continue to keep on loving you. You're my grandfather. I can't forget about you. Come on, man. Somebody has helped grandma when she has those crying fits for no reason. It's because she misses you. Aww. Oh, no. Don't even put two and two together. Oh, right. Sorry. <gasps> I think you did. Yeah, I did. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you go. No, you gotta grab something. You gotta, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want you to fall in there. Yeah, and you're pale. Oh, I don't want you to fall. Whoa! Whoa! Am I going to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fools are all talking to me, right? I, I'm the one that gets this. A 5'9 like your mother? No. I said a 6'2. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, yo. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I see you met you, who wasn't your mother. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I accidentally called her Ma because she's got Ma's face and it's playing the brown eyeballs. Yeah, I know. Oops. I'm sorry. You want me to introduce myself? I'm your Auntie Agnes. Oh, oh. Called me Mom. You got my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Oh, wait, you know my mom. You my, my grandpa's sister. She's in that book that I showed you. And, yeah, whoops. I'm so sorry. Wow. Hair, too. Yeah, I know. And in my family, you, you either look like your mother or all of your father. But you get some of the features in between. Father, mother, grandmother. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna get going guys. I'm exhausted. I wanna get in the shower, it's hot. So I'll see you guys later.